BMW have given us buyers a real headache. Do you buy the new M240i for £50,000 with xDrive or do you spend an extra £20,000 and get the new M2 with rear wheel drive? Well, this is the question I'm going to be answering today. Is the M240i like an M car or is it just a BMW with a big engine and a couple of M badges? Welcome to Driven Plus guys and I'm Max Afterbarney. It's a bit big, isn't it? Yeah, you see, the new 2 Series weighs in at 1,765 kilograms, 220 kilos heavier than its predecessor. It's a bit of a weight gain, isn't it? And I think these weight figures are getting a bit out of hand now. But look how big it's got. That's thanks to the 2 Series. It's now based on the 4 Series chassis. So, yeah, it's definitely got bigger. And I think BMW have made a good call there, which I'll explain to you later. The design. When these first came out, I wasn't a big fan, but BMW just do what BMW do, and now I'm a fan. They just age really well, and I just woke up one day and thought, yeah, I like them. I don't know how they do it. But from the front, you get this massive bulge on the bonnet. You don't even get a bulge on the previous generation M2. And the colour, the colour for me does it. This is the colour to have than the new M240i. It's called Thunder Knight Metallic. Looks so good. The grills, BMW haven't gone to town on the grills. They've kept it nice and proportional. It looks good. And the headlights are a weird shape, but it works. I like them. And they light up, light up with a nice LED daytime running light. From the front, yeah, it looks good. And there we are, looking into the engine. Here sits the legendary B58 engine. Um, stats on this thing, 369 horsepower, 500 newton meters of torque, not to 60 well. BMW claimed 4.3 seconds. Well, nice try BMW, because we know what the real world figures is on these, sub four seconds, even more like 3.6. Um, you only get an automatic transmission. Uh, so for me, new M2, you can get a manual option. So for me, one nil M2. Right, so moving on to the side pole, I gotta say, I do like the way this thing just sits. It's got a nice stance on it, although for a two series, it's got a lot of car here compared to the old version. Now this has the pro pack, so you get M double spoke alloys. You got two pot caliper um, in the rear and on the front, it sits on the four pots. Interesting to see how they perform on the road. Right, moving on to the rear, I got to say, it looks better in person. It's lovely and stubby. I like the shape of the lights. Right, as we come down here, now all M light cars get this type of shape exhaust tip. BMW, I don't get it, I'm not a fan, just give them quad tail pipes or at least some exhaust which looks sportier. Rant over, anyway, new on the 2 Series are these door handles here, probably helps aerodynamics I'd imagine. Now coming on to the, uh, the wing mirror, you get the M mirror caps. Now BMW are probably going to put a few Chinese manufacturers out of uh, business here. If you know, you know. And yeah, you get frameless windows. Works very well on, uh, on coupe models. Let's go have a look on the inside. So the inside, <laughs> Tim, the owner, he's put Welcome Driven Plus with our logo on, the, on entry. So thank you, Tim. Now let's get the spec sheet out. Uh, let's have a look at what it's got. So it's got the technology pack. So it's got parking assistant, heads up display, enhanced Bluetooth with wireless charging, with your wireless charging port down here. It's got Wi-Fi, built-in Wi-Fi hotspot. Uh, it's got the Pro Pack, so as I said before, it's got the uh, double-spoke 19-inch alloys. BMW individual light shadow line. Um, they're probably like some sort of ambient lighting, I guess. Harman Kardon surround system, that's a must-have for me. Um, BMW individual high-gloss shadow line with extended content. Don't know what that is. And it's got the Comfort Pack, so it's got heated steering wheel, comfort access, um, electric memory seats and front bumper support. So I think all those three packs there is a must need. So this car is well specced. But in terms of layout of the inside, it's actually identical of that of the three and four series. Um, it's comfortable to sit in. Everything's easily um, you know, um, accessible. And on the doors here, you've got like an M type of logo colors there, which I thought lit up at start, but they're actually engraved. They're actually permanent. Um, yeah, it just gives that extra sporty feel and all the leather stitching is finished in the blue um, stitches there. So uh, it's a nice place to be.
Right, so whilst we're on the road, I'm intrigued to see how this stacks up. Is it more M car or is it just a BMW with a big engine with some M badges on? Let's find out. Because I can tell you the previous generation M240i was basically a two series with a big engine in it. It didn't feel good on the road, it was skitty, it wasn't planted, it was all over the place. But I have to say there was a clear, clear upgrade in this. Is it more M car? What I mean by that is, does it change direction with ease? To an extent, yes, it holds itself very well on the roads. And this is where the beauty of an M light comes in. Yes, it's not a full fat M car, but you gain comfort, you gain refinement. The suspension is not so hard, it's comfortable. And the main thing is, you still got a straight six under there. It's fast. I will say one thing I do miss from an M car is the M1 and M2 configuration buttons. You can set the car to drive up how you want. That's one thing I do miss. Bloody speed warnings. But I do think BMW made a good choice here based on the 2 Series on the 4 Series chassis. It's much better in the corners. The feedback is good. Steering response, it's a bit numb, I will say. But other than that, once you get used to it, it's a good car. And yeah, it's not as sharp in the corner, shall I say, as an M car. Or if you're basing it with an M2, there's a bit of roll. But this is where you gain the comfort. If you, if you didn't have the roll, it was flat. You know, it wouldn't be good on a day-to-day -day basis. It does the best of both worlds. And the good thing I like about the new M240i is that you're not on the edge of your seat waiting for that rear to step out on you like the old one did. Obviously not like this would anyway, because it's four-wheel drive, but much, much better on the old one, I have to say. So, driving mode, let's have a look at what we've got to play with. Eco Pro, Comfort and Sport. Let's put it in Sport. Okay, the car goes down a gear, everything firms up, the steering goes heavier. Let's put the gearbox in manual, downshift. <laughs> it's been a while, Mr. B58. Yeah, it makes a nice sound through those augmented sound through the speakers. That is fake sound. Although you can hear that engine working away. Yeah, see, when you change gear, you get a nice kind of boof from the bass. It's fake, I know, but it sounds good. I like it. Yeah, I like that. Sounds well. The straight six of BMWs, you can't get much better than that, can you? And I must say, the road I'm on now is quite bumpy. The, the, the distribution of the car's weight is good. It's not as if you're going around the, the road like that with the old 240i. It's straight, it's firm, it's planted. Yeah, it's good. Much, much better than the old 240i. Leaps and bounds. B58 engine coupled with the ZF gearbox. Probably the best partnership since Red Bull and GoPro. It just works. Also love the fact it's got X drive. It'll just hook and go. It gets you out of sticky situations and it's respectful. This just makes for the perfect daily. I think after driving it for a little bit, the only negative from me is probably the brakes. They're a bit spongy. They don't give good feedback from the road. If I was to have one of these, would I upgrade the brakes? Definitely. Yeah, driving position is nice. You're not sat too high, you're not sat too low. The, the steering wheel is nice and chunky. I personally prefer a thin steering wheel. I think you get better feedback through, uh, through them. If I come up to a junction here, the visibility looking through, like kind of diagonally there, it's good. You haven't got man, many blind spots. And even pulling out of corners, that X drive does pull you out. Yeah. Perfect daily, this car really is. But one thing I turned off straight away is all the safety features. So it turns the, the steering wheel intervention off. 
just don't like all that stuff. Just let me drive the car. Just... One thing I've just noticed, and it's a bit weird, is this type of... Well, there's no rev counter if you're in normal driving mode. And it just gives you this power kind of band where you've got 0 to 100. Where if I put it in manual, now it gives you the rev counter. Never seen that before. What are you doing, BMW? Really enjoyed my time with the BMW M240i today. I think at the moment, it's probably one of the best daily driving BMWs you can buy. And I'd have one over the M440i. Definitely, I don't like the way those things look. But would I have one over the new M2? Well, if you're watching BMW, lend me one so I can find out. Thank you for watching today. Like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Thank you very much.